Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom, and it is day two of our February release. Hey, so I am using our new paint splatter stencil, the new Kawaii Art stamp set, the new Paint Your Story, Paint Your Own Story stamp set. I'm also using our last, from our last release, the Fancy Heart Dies, the Heart Layer Dies, um, Mini Tags Dies 3, the Stylized Rectangle Dies, and I'm also using the Gable Box Dies. Now I've cut out the um, little craft hearts with those fancy heart dies and I cut out two of them and I'm going to be applying um, using my stencil and Distress Oxide Ink and Festive Berries. So I taped those die cuts to the back of the stencil and I'm going to be taking my Tailored Expressions blending brush and I'm just going to be applying a heck load of ink on there. Basically, I'm just getting ink on there. I want to make it look like pattern paper, so no nuanced shading. I'm just slapping it on there. So I just want to make it look like it's been, you know, splattered heavily with red is what I'm going for. So this is a adorable little release that I'm using today. Super exciting, and if you're a crafter, it's right up your alley. So, you know, you you must have crafting friends like I do, so... Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So there we go. So I've got two of them and I've got all the ink on there. So fast, fast stuff. And um, now I basically went away and I've got an A2 sized vertical card base here made out of paper tray ink craft card stock, the same as those hearts. I've got a two inch strip from the Echo Park. I'd rather be crafting 12 inch paper line. I'm also using Gingham Linen um, Pistachio the pistachio gingham linen 12 inch from doodlebug so i'm just applying this two inch strip of pattern paper it's kind of perfect because it has little paint brushes on it and you know scissors and so forth makes it look like a little crafting I'm applying it off to one side of my a2 size card base and there we go that's a 4.25 by 11 inch piece of cardstock from paper triank and craft scored at five and a half inches so there we go and now I've got everything kind of already pre-colored and ready. So you'll see that is um, that little image is from the Paint Your Own Story stamp set. And I just colored that with Copics. They'll all be listed on my blog. And I used Ink on 3's Blackout Ink for that. And um, the striped paper is, like I said, from that I'd rather be crafting paper pad also. So I'm applying the heart to the um, also that red pattern paper which is also from that I'd rather be crafting so um, and that piece right there is a stylized rectangle die and that is cut out of that doodlebug uh, gingham linen paper so I'm now I'm applying that little pattern piece to the lower left hand corner and then there's my stencil piece on layered onto the red cardstock so I'm going to be applying that to my card base with HED tape again, just trying to figure out where it's going, going to go. There we go. You'll notice I did some Copic coloring on there, just easy coloring, um, usually three shades of each color. Um, and I took the colors from the actual pattern paper. So now I decided I didn't like it. I needed another layer. So I cut out a layer, another layer of that craft cardstock in just an eighth of an inch larger all around. So it just gives it a tiny little bit of a border. So it um, it acts kind of a, as a buffer between the patterns. I just found it. It just makes it look a heck of a lot better. So there we are. So now I'm going to be applying that to my card base in the lower left hand corner if I can get things straight. You know that's a challenge these days I'm telling you. I try to get things straight all the time. I'm supposed to have a doc, uh, an eye doctor's appointment or no not eye doctor, I guess optometrist, um, appointment tomorrow. And uh, we'll see how my eyes are faring. But it's let me t say it's hard for me to get things straight these days. So I wouldn't be surprised if I've got to do something about those. So now I'm using my foam tape from 3M. And I'm just going to pop up this little gable box layer. That's the front layer of the gable box die. And that little front layer fits all of the tag stamps from Jaded Blossom. So it's quite handy. And I use it on cards all the time, not just on the front of my gable box. In fact, I rarely use it on the front of my gable box. I use other things on there, but you know, I, dry, I digress. <laughs> so there we go. So we're going to layer that in the lower left-hand corner. 
And basically I'm just creating a little grouping and now I'm going to move on to my gable box. So I've cut that out of the same pattern paper from that I'd rather be crafting line. And I'm just quickly folding on all the little score lines. These are super easy from Jaded Blossom. You know, I love the gable box die. It's large enough for little treats, little craft supplies, a little bit of money, what have you. You can fit little gifts in there. You gotta love that. So now I'm using my red line tape. That's kind of my favorite for putting together um jaded blossoms little treat boxes it holds really well cutting it with my little ek success scissors that are non-stick because let me tell you there that red line tape is super sticky you don't want to get your stick your scissors all gummed up with that let me tell you so there we go now um, these are so easy to put together I just use my bone folder to make sure that those that red line tape was on there well so I can peel off the release paper easily and I'm just going to line that up along the score line so it makes things super easy there we go and now I'm just sticking it all together it is so simple so now I'm also going to use red line tape on the bottom of the box so you just want to want to apply some adhesive to one side of the flap. Um, you'd want one really close to the end and one a little bit in. And that's what I'm doing right now. You could use, you know, liquid glue. Um, only thing with the liquid glue, liquid glue, you've got to wait for it to stick, right? So that's the only drawback. But I've made plenty of box with liquid glue. They turn out just fine. So there we go. I liked um, two-sided pattern, like double-sided pattern paper for these... Um, cute little boxes from Jada Blossom because you get the you know the uh, different paper on the inside it just looks kind of neat there we go and that's what I'm going to be doing so I'll be closing it with a little clothespin that's kind of my thing and I can't even tell you where I got that clothespin I kind of collect them wherever I go so now that image is from Kawaii Art and I just colored it with Copics again they'll be all listed on my blog um, there is my little um heart that I used the splatter stencil on and um, like easy stuff that paint the town is from the tag that I stamped on the card I already made I just cut it out cut it apart and stamped it separately colored with Copics there we go and that little and it was cut out with the mini tags three dies and then I cut out the little bucket by hand normally normally I use my Gemini or not my Gemini my brother scan and cut for that but I just cut this out by hand because I just had one to do so now I'm going to pop that up with a little bit of uh, foam squares their um, dimensionals from Stampin Up there we go and then I'll be applying that to the front of my little image there so it's too cute and like I said super easy coloring um, they'll all be listed I'm using the shape sprinkles now, two little eyeballs from the Eerie Eyes set that I'm going to apply to the bucket. Now, it, this bucket comes with stamps. You can put your own, like stamp your own face, but I felt like putting little little eyeballs on it. Little googly eyes would be cute too, but that's what I decided to go with. And now I'm using chevron ribbon. That is from close to my heart. It's called ruby ribbon, but I, it doesn't really look like ruby. It's more of a, I don't even know what to call it, like a corally color. But it tends, it, it seems to go with what I got going on. So that is my bow easy that I can't live without. And I'm just going to tie a quick bow using it. And then I'm going to stick that bow onto the little clothespin. And I like doing that just because it, it, it makes getting into the little box easy. Um, you don't have any issues. And it's too cute. Like I just, I love the look of it. So there we go. Sometimes I use hot glue to, to stick them. Other times I'll use uh, glue lines, glue dots. There we go. And I'm just going to cut these off with my fabric scissors. You want to keep a pair of scissors in your craft room that are just for fabric. And don't hide them. Don't let anyone see those ones because you know they're just going to grab them and cut stuff with them and wreck them. So there we go. So I'm going to apply my little glue dots. And fast and easy peasy, you know, you could fill that up with some Hershey Kisses and Bob's your uncle. Too cute. There we are. Now I'm going to be adding um, some enamel dots. And these are also from Echo Park. 
Um, the nice thing is if you stick within the same line, a lot of their stuff matches. So this is the Jungle Safari enamel dots. And I'm going to be using the teal ones. And I'm going to put them on like I usually do here and there. And uh, just so you know, I use Copic C3, 5, and 7. YR20, 23, 27. R22, 27, 29. E43, 47, 49. And BG15, 18, 32. But those will all be listed on my blog along with everything else that I, that I used. There we go. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to come back tomorrow to see what I've got for you. I'm sure I'll have another video. And make sure you stop over at the Jada Blossom blog and see all the design team members' amazing inspiration. They always wow me, and hopefully they wow you too. Anyways, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.